I am getting a very late start today. I didn't get home till pretty late. Had a doctor's appointment this morning. Well, this late morning, it took a long time. They were very thorough, but it went well. So, didn't have time to make a video for the other channel today, but I did have time. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. I made a comp 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 compilation, eh, probably about six or seven videos, two, almost three hours long. A lot of my subscribers probably are not going to watch it, but this is a good test for YouTube to see if they're putting my videos out, which I know they're not, because that's usually when those things get that kind of view. But whether it does or not, I got the video out. I still got two videos I think I'm ahead on on that channel for the month, so I didn't even really have to do it, but why not? So you want to check that out, go to the other channel, Washita Mountain Living. Uh, it goes back a couple of years to maybe a year. I don't know. Different date ranges, different kinds of videos. So I watched part of it, you know. Now I'm watching for videos that last night I put a playlist on in there for uh, Tilly or Lily. And there's a lot of them with Waldo. Waldo is in just about every one of them. So, and then she gets to hear my voice. She's in there by herself and I'm going to work, work her in here with Rooster. I don't know how she's going to handle this floor in here. Rooster has a hard time with it. She's never walked on a floor like this and she doesn't walk very gracefully. So we're going to have to see what I'm going to probably do is start out letting them meet in the, once I get in there and straighten it up a little. Bring them both out into the uh, screen patio because that's neutral ground. That's not, you know, a place either one of them hang out. So we'll see how they get along in there. Rooster's a bit hyper when it comes to being around other dogs. Uh, I'm going to sneeze and I'll pause it for a second. And Lily is a little... Don't really know. Lily's Lily's been around other dogs. I mean, she was raised. There were five other dogs in that yard with her when she was a puppy all the way, you know, until the last couple of years. It's been a while. She's just been in there with just Waldo, but she's doing okay. The night time seemed to be the hardest part for her. She seems to think he's out there. And then when I open the door to the dog apartment, she wants to come into the, she thinks he's in there because she's seen him go out that way. So dogs will, they're very good at rebounding. She'll get over it. She's just a little, you know, I go in there very, very often. So she's doing good. And when I was at the doctor today, I got on the camera and was talking to her. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't really figure, couldn't figure out where I was. She was looking at the TV, but I did that to Rooster. Rooster didn't care one way or another. She's doing good. She got her teeth out. She was pretty sleepy, you know, when she came back from the vet. And this morning she woke up with a vengeance. And I think it was just before I fell asleep last night. She has a routine where, you know, she has a bowl that has some dry food in it. And she'll go and eat her dry food late at night. And she was in there last night with the dry food, eating that. But she does have some teeth on the side. They did leave some, and she's got her front teeth. So she figured it out. But she's doing great. I uh, just got done cooking all the dogs' chicken and hamburger. And that's what they got for supper tonight. I even ate some of it pretty good. It's just regular chicken and regular hamburger. Yeah, I got a taste. It needed salt. Yeah, I don't put salt or pepper or anything like that in there. But everything is going well. Uh, to be expected. Missed my boy. But it, it's this has been a whole lot easier on me than, you know, with like Libby, obviously. Uh, he did live out his life. He lived a long life. And 
I've got nothing to be sad about other than missing him, you know. That's just, I think the way that it went down was probably the best way. And, you know, people say before their dog gets put down, they take them to get ice cream and all that. That, believe me, I've done it so many times, that's usually never the case that you can do something like that because they're not going to eat nothing. When they're in that kind of shape, they're not going to want to eat anything, let alone ice cream or something like that. So he did have a good supper the night before, and he ate every bit of it. That, that's what baffles me about this whole thing is the way he he would bounce back, and then, you know, then the next thing you know, he's back to where he was. But he never missed a meal, and he did have a meal the night before, and I'm glad he got to enjoy that, and I'm glad he got to see that, I was feeding them better. So, not that I've ever fed them bad. I just was uneducated about what I was giving them. And that's not going to happen anymore. They're they're going to get real meat, real food, and I'm weaning them off the dry food. They shouldn't require that anymore. They still will get milk bones. That's, uh, you know, they got to have something especially the older ones, and they're all getting older. But, yeah, I didn't get to do much today, so tomorrow I'm going to get out and do a few things. Don't know what yet, but there's always something to do here. And that shed, got to get in that shed and clean that dude out again. I got a lot of lumber in there that I got to do something with. I think I may move it under where the dog kennel was, where I removed the, the fence panels i can stack it under there i need to get those dog houses moved and loaded up and taken over to peter's down the road he wants them for his dogs i got three of them he's got three dogs so and they're insulated well the one the one big one isn't they could all three fit in there if they want but other than that i got to get rid of them don't need them uh They've been out there, the dogs, Millie Tilly, they won't get in a dog house. So, we'll give them to somebody who could use them because he don't have one for his dogs and they're staying under his shed to house thing. Uh, so, but not today because the traffic today is horrendous. That bluegrass festival is going on. It's just constant traffic. And it will be till Saturday. It ends. The last show is Saturday night. So tomorrow night it's over. By Sunday afternoon, everybody's gone. And then we don't have another one for six months. And that's really the only thing where I live I got to deal with. Uh, it's pretty rural, so there's there's not much. You know, even though that's a 55-mile-an-hour highway in front of me, it's not that busy usually. And... So that's about all that's going on today, guys. Uh, nothing was planned. It's, you know, it's Dogtober. So appreciate it. If you watch the videos, go watch some old videos. Like, subscribe, check them out. Uh, there's a lot of old videos. There's probably, if you started watching my videos from, and actually probably the first six months of when I started doing videos, I don't even have those up. Those are those are unlisted, so you won't see those. But if you started watching them, from, you probably have two weeks worth of watching. <laughs> you know, at least a week's worth of watching round the clock. Not saying you got to do that, but hey, that, that's a good idea if you ain't got nothing else to do. But like I said, get in a, put a TV on in a bedroom, put on a playlist, let it roll. You don't got to be there. You didn't hear that, YouTube. You know, you, you don't have to be there to watch the advertisements for an account. You know, as long as you've seen it once, I'm sure you have. Or if you got YouTube Premium, it doesn't matter. We still get paid. But we're doing okay. Uh, I get a little upset because they're just not putting my videos out to anybody but the subscribers. Uh, you know, I could go on all day about that. It's... You know, I, I, I am just hoping that doing this every day and it just, it gets better. It's all we can do with it. So 
I'm going to let you guys get back to your Friday night. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.